Good evening students. Today I will discuss about the refraction part. Okay. So in the previous videos hopefully you will get and there I have discussed about the reflection in the concave and convex mirror. Right. So first to, uh, today I will discuss the refraction part. So what is refraction? Refraction is the phenomena of light where if light travels from one medium to another medium it is be being deviated from its original path right reflection what is reflection reflection is the phenomena where light is being reflected to a particular uh, object and uh, after being reflected it goes to the same medium but for the refraction the light ray must be change its original uh, direction as it changes the medium okay so when light ray comes from one medium first medium to the second medium it changes its direction and for this uh, the, there is a deviation of the path original path of the light and therefore this phenomena is called the refraction so basically this reflection and refraction so shows that light is a wave apart from that there are various phenomena that is suppose dispersion sorry not the dispersion inference that is the polarization all these things basically says that light is not a wave it is a wave of particles so therefore as light shows both the characteristics of particle and wave therefore light is known as or light is called as the dual characteristics okay so therefore let us continue from the refraction part so whatever i have already said that if suppose this is medium one and this is my medium 2. If light ray is being incident here, sorry, light ray is being incidence here, either it has to be moved like this, but in general, either it moves like this or like this. Okay, so therefore it being deviated from the original path either in this direction or in this direction therefore it is called the refraction okay now first of all let us introduce with the common terms that is it is basically the incident ray this is the normal it is basically the refracted ray it is also refracted whatever the angle that is being produced through the normal to the incident ray is called the angle of ref angle of incidence and whatever the angle that has been produced with the refracted ray with the normal is called the refracted ray that is defined by r now when the medium 1 and medium 2 the density of the medium is main thing for which the deviation will be affected if that uh, medium 1 is rare and medium 2 is denser then basically the refracted ray moves towards the normal If this is your den uh, rare medium and this is your denser medium. If light ray comes then the refracted ray will be towards the normal. So here I can say that I will be greater than R that is incident angle will be greater than the refracted angle right. Now, if these changes, if it be 
becomes denser and it becomes rare. So therefore the refracted ray will be away from the normal. So therefore the situation will just changed. Hopefully it is clear to all. Now what will be the amount of this deflection or this deviation? If a light ray comes from rear to denser medium, original path will be like this. So this is I, this is R. So the deviation will be this. This amount of deviation is there. So this deviation is known as delta. So here delta will be, this is I, this is R too. So basically I equal to delta plus R. So delta will be basically I minus R. So when from rare to denser the light ray comes. If the situation is different. So in that case basically the deviation will be this. Right. And this full will be your R. So therefore delta will be R minus I. So if the light ray comes from rear to denser then the deviation will be I minus R. And if the light ray comes from denser to rear the deviation will be R minus I. Hopefully it is clear to all. Now coming for the laws of refraction. So what is laws of refraction? Laws of refraction is saying that first law is that incident ray normal and refracted ray will lie on the same plane. This is the first law. Second law is that the sign of incident angle and the refracted angle the ratio of incident angle uh, sign of incident angle and the sign of refracted angle is constant. So basically this is basically sin i by sin r that is basically known as mu. This mu is known as basically the refractive index. So in the next but I will discuss more about this refractive index. Today I am ending here up to the laws of refraction and the second law what I have missed basically that is the sin i by sin r equals to mu. This is also known as Snell's law. Okay. So today I am ending here. Thank you.